Level grind has been real, and I'm sure by now you've gotten a 93-94 overall power-up pass. Now you gotta know who to pick it on. There's a lot of good options. Let's jump on in and check them out. What's good, everybody? What's going on? It's your boy Rob, aka Roboto. So today we are taking a look at the 9394 overall power pass. What to pick, who to look for, how to properly do this. There's a bunch of ways to do it. I'm gonna go over all the best ways I look at it when it comes to the power passes. Let me know in the comment section down below what are your criteria for power passes. But before we jump into all that, just wanna let you know if you are new here, I appreciate you for stopping by. If you'd be so kind as to hit the subscribe button down below. Notification bell right next to it. You get notified anytime I'm live with brand new content right here. Also, if you like this video, if you like the names, if you like the options, if you like these ideas, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, of course. And in the comment section down below, just like we said before, let me know what you are looking at when it comes to the 9394 overall power pass. Are you looking for coins? Are you looking for theme teams? Are you looking for anything else? Because you got a good power up. Let me know what you think. All right, let's jump on in. So how do we get this power up pass? Well, there are two ways currently to get it. Number one, obviously the way that everybody's gonna be able to do probably right now, if you haven't done it already, is get the 9394 overall power up pass at level 73 on your month level, okay? So it's level 73, you get the 9394 pass. The other way you could get it if you've been grinding out your dailies since basically launch, is at 150 daily objectives, you get a 93 to 94 overall power up pass. Now I know not everybody's gonna be right there, but there is one in game. Right now I have two of them. One is all my uh, Janoris Jenkins in particular, and I have one sitting in my binder waiting to be used on some. So that's how you get the power up pass right now. Another thing to consider too, when we jump into all these names and such, as you see a bunch of names are here for one reason or another. Um, there are some names I did exclude just for the simple reason that their power up is not easily available, right? Whether it's just specific to a set or it was something that hasn't been put in game yet, for example, um, as far as I know, Cam Chancellor's power up is not in circulation anywhere, but if anybody knows about that, let me know. Uh, and then maybe we'll revisit Cam Chancellor. But as of right now, a guy like Cam Chancellor, and also I believe uh, Night Train Lane too, uh, won't be on this list just because it, I believe their only way to get that power up right now is to get it through their sets, okay? So um, let's keep that in mind here. Cause I mean, you're paying 140 for Night Train here and his power up is about like 14, 15K. It's actually not that bad, um, but you know, it's 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 a it's going to be tricky to get some of these guys in particular like a uh if we actually look at cam chancer here really quick just to see what i'm talking about here even his redux that just came out right 184 for that um his power up that's an 81 overall is selling for 190 uh 260 on playstation so we're trying to avoid those type of players okay so let's just jump on in and check out who we got for the 93 94 overall power pass and one more thing too, before we jump into anything to do with these cards, there are some things I need you all to keep in mind when it comes to making your own decisions. Because at the end of the day, this decision is your own. Number one, do you have the card already? Obviously, if you have the card already, there's a couple ways you can do things here. If it's a nat card, I suggest keeping it nat and just like not doing anything with it. Put your power pass on somebody else, um, or maybe use that 93 for a set later on down the line, potentially team of the year. Um, the other thing too is, do you need coins off that card, right? So could you put the power of pass in, for example, this Aaron Rodgers or Joe Thomas, and then go ahead and sell Joe Thomas's card and use the power pass there, and then buy back Joe Thomas later at a cheaper rate. That's up to you. And the third thing here you want to consider, obviously, is your team. Your team needs. Are you running a theme team? Do you have a God Squad you're trying to improve and make better? Um, there's a lot of ways to consider all of this stuff. So please, please, please make sure you put everything in perspective as far as you, what you run, and what you use for your squad. We're gonna start boring. Let's get the boring stuff out of the way first. Number one, I'm gonna go through Jimbo Covert. Now, this, by the way, isn't ordered by the way I like them the most. This isn't ordered by the way that you know I think you should. Pick them i'm just going through names here and i'm just trying to give you guys the best options um at these specific positions we're gonna hit the linemen first get them out the way um jimbo covert here just really quick he's hitting 90s all across the board on blocking there so um speed might be a little concerned but it is what it is he's at 94 there so you can use the power up pass on him his uh, power up is available through solos or in the auction house david de castro here another guy hitting 90s on all fronts here um now for him uh, you could get him in the power up using a training bypass, um, but you could also power him up by using the power up pass, as you see right here. And his power up, his power up super cheap, like 2K. You can get that on the auction house for super cheap or pull it in a pack if you want to. Um, it's not letting me upgrade his stuff right now, but basically you can upgrade the Castro up and use the power up pass on him as well. 
uh joe thomas 94 overall left tackle all of his stats are above 90 as well when it comes to blocking 72 speed so it's a little bit better there um than jimbo um and his power up is available both in the auction house and through a solo if you haven't done it yet his price is like 230 right now it looks like so um i'd suggest using the 93 94 overall power up pass on him as well if you need a lineman um and now that the linemen are done we can get into the exciting guys here number one uh running back here i guess number one or number two however you want to rank them is barry sanders now here's the deal with barry his price has gone up gone down gone up gone down it's it's barry set is a profitable this that and the third um right now is a good time to use that power pass on him if you have it and you want to power him up all the way up through his 96 and for number one his power up is available in packs as of today so keep that in mind barry sanders and all the other 50 guys their power ups are in packs okay so that's number one number two uh, Barry Sanders, you don't want to have to do the set to get this 93. Um, you could also do the training bypass if you want for him as well, just like the Castro. But, you know, training, it's its one or the other, right? Use the training or use the power pass. So um, I suggest use the power pass, save the training, use it to uh, further upgrade him up through the ladder there. So you could definitely get this Barry Sanders up to like a 95 if you wanted to using his power pass there for 93, 94. Another, and you know, he's not that bad of a card, right? 91 speed here, 92 spin, uh, 94 COD, 92 Paul Carey vision. So it's Barry Sanders. What are you going to do? Uh, Todd Gurley here as the other option at running back. You can get his power pretty easily in the store. He does have a Redux right now. We'll flip over to the Redux to show you. Um, 92 speed, 90 trucking, 88 spin move, uh, 88 COD, 94 juke moves. He's an elusive back archetype, um, 94 ball carrier uh carrying for 94 92 ball carrier vision so uh girly right here not a bad option either to add to your squad especially if you're a rams and or falcons theme teamer he's a pretty damn good card so we'll move over to the defensive line slash pass rushers here um the one true and tried dt i have is warren sap on this list 93 overall warren sap with 93 block shed he's been a beast for me especially with the raiders comes on him um you know 76 speed is not the best but uh, he'll be able to get back there you know he has some pretty pretty solid moves there at dt so warren sap is not a bad option um probably the best pass rusher out of all the bunch i mean maybe the be best coverage dude too out of all these pass rushers ted hendrix this guy's a monster you can get his power up through solos um or buy it off the auction house um 88 speed there 83 man 87 zone coverage 89 block shed 92 pursuit 91 tackle 92 power move 86 finesse move this card is nice and when it came out it was also nice it is still very nice so ted hendrix is a mean one here i might have to switch him from khalil mack and maybe do something with hendrix here he might be a little bit better for my team in the long run because this guy is nasty so arguably the best out of all the bunch here and i'll and i'll highlight the best best ones ted hendrix is among the best here um progressing down here dwight freeney not a bad option especially if you want to switch his chems i know his power up was always expensive and now that it's in packs it shouldn't be that bad anymore to get it um 87 speed there 91 block shed yeah it's it's not 200k it should drop down as, as time goes on um 87 block shed 93 play rec 93 finesse move 87 power move 91 block shed um it's not bad at all 87 speed is really nice there so uh dwight freeney not a horrible choice here if you need a right end but with some speed coming off the edge if you want another right end with some speed coming off the edge that can also be a nice defensive tackle uh 85 speed here on leroy selman's 94 with 93 block shed uh 93 hit power 93 power move 85 finesse move this dude is a beast and he'll be a damn good defensive tackle i've seen a lot of people kill me with uh selman in the middle there as a dt so Nick Bosa here, 86 speed, 83 block shed, but 94 pursuit, 88 tackle, 89 hit power, 94 play rec, um, 88 power move, a 94 finesse move. Um, not bad at all, especially if you're looking for a good, another good, you know, rush right end there. Bosa has some speed and he'll be powered up. So that's going to be like 87 speed base, and then you can get him up to be even faster. Another fast defensive end. You're noticing a trend here. Speed is king. Julius Peppers here, his power up available also in stores and packs as are the other 50 packs, um, the 50 cards. So if you, it looks a little bit pricey now, do not worry. Keep pulling packs or just wait till the price goes down. You'll be good. Um, 86 speed, 90 block shed, 91 pursuit, 90 tackle, 91 power move, 93 finesse move. Peppers is a monster. I love Peppers. He's still on my team and I'm running him um, opposite of uh, Strahan in the middle. And then on the opposite side I have LT. So Peppers is still killing for me. I, I love this card. Uh, George Kittle moving back to the offensive end George Kittle here tight end 
for the San Francisco 49ers. The one key here with Kittle, there's a couple good keys here with Kittle, but number one, his speed, 87. Uh, two, 89 meter route running. You can get that up to 90 with play fake on it. And three, he's a possession tight end. And possession tight ends get tight end apprentice for one AP. So George Kittle here, I think he's hitting many, many, many good things here. And I, I would say he's probably the best tight end option out of all of them. Um, George Kittle is very, very solid here. And his power up is available in, uh, in, in packs and such. So George Kittle, not a bad option here. Another very good tight end option, arguably even better than Kittle. But, you know, I personally like Kittle. It's gonna be Chris Cooley right here, right? 88 speed, 90 catch, 90 medium route running stock, okay? Um, he also has 77 run block in comparison to Kittle here. I mean, they're very similar. If you just see the back and forth here, um, the run blocking would be the one thing that's a little bit different here. Kittle's a better run blocker, but they're both possession tight ends. They're both very good. Both of these guys would not be a bad option to use the power up pass on, especially considering you can get Cooley's power up in a solo. Um, Cooley's arguably the better tight end of the two, but George Kittle has some good stats. I mean, they're both good. You can't go wrong either way, I don't think. Uh, maybe pick something that fits your team or scheme or chems. Um, so Cooley there and George Kittle. We're switching back over to safeties. Now, I like this guy right here, Minka Fitzpatrick. I've always liked his cards. 92 speed, 88 man, 95 zone, 89 pursuit, 85 hit power. Um, this guy is usually making plays. He's all over the place. So Minka's a pretty good option here. You can get his power for pretty cheap too. I believe it's, yeah, like 2K. So shouts to him there. Ronnie Lott, you can get his power up in the solos. So 90 speed, 85 man, 91 zone. The speed isn't where you'd like it by now. But I mean, when he's powered up all the way through, we can check out his series Redux here. So 91 speed, 86 man, 92 zone. Um, this is what he would look like powered up. So especially if you have uh, Jets, I think it's Jets, right? Jets, Raiders, 49ers. Um, he has a couple good theme teams here. Um, he can also switch positions to cornerback and strong safety if needed. Um, so Ronnie Lott, not a bad option here. He was on my team for quite some time before I moved over to Megatron. So Ronnie Lott, very, very much. I approve of this message here. Um, also in the safety, Steve Atwater. Now, Steve Atwater early in the year was a monster, and then he kind of got phased out because he was a little slow, but now Atwater's back, and this card is actually pretty nice from what I've heard and what I've seen out there in the Mutt world. So 92 speed, 85 man, 91 zone coverage there for Atwater. Um, he also has a 93 pursuit, 92 tackle, 94 hit power. So Steve Atwater, you can play the solo, the legend solo to get his power up there. It's about 10K on each platform. So Atwater, not a bad option as well. Switching over to the receivers. There are many, many, many good options here for receivers. Number one, or the first one we're gonna go over here is Chad Johnson, Ocho Cinco. Now let's check out his 93, the Redux here, cause this is what his card will be powered up. Uh, 93 speed, 91 catch, deep route running at 92. He's a route runner archetype, which is arguably the best archetype for any receivers in this game. Uh, 93 COD, 92 juke, 92 carry. I used him for a couple weeks, maybe like two, three weeks. I really liked him. You know, he had a nice little speed there. He was making plays for me. So I do not mind this card at all. He's 6'1 as well, so he's not super short. So Chad Johnson, Ocho Cinco, not a bad option. Devontae Parker. Now, I know a lot of people were requesting this guy because 93 speed. Look at that. 93 speed on a 94 for 91 catch, 90 deep route running, 85 cod after the catch. Um, you're not really getting much here, right? But He's a physical wide receiver archetype. He is 6'3". He has some nice speed on him too as well. If you're a Dolphins theme teamer, I don't know why this dude is not on your team by now. You can get his power up for pretty cheap out there in the market as well. It's like six, you know, 5K. It's not going to break the bank too much there. So Devontae Parker, great option. My guy, Odell Beckham Jr. I love this card. He's a deep side archetype. It's a bad archetype, admittedly, but he is fun as hell. I have him on my team, obviously, as a Giants fan, um, and he's my number three receiver. Sometimes him and Tyreek Hill are switching, and we'll talk about Tyreek in a little bit, obviously. Um, but 92 speed right here, 87 catch, medium route running, and deep route running, and short route running all above 90. Spec catch is 94, so that helps a little bit. Um, his height isn't there. It's under six, under six feet, 5'11", though. Um, 93 cod there after the catch. Uh, juke move there at 94 so odell i mean for me he's made a lot of plays i really 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 like this card i really really like how he plays his power up here is about 5k as well so odell not bad at all lynn swan 93 overall wide receiver for the steelers here 92 speed let's actually check his redux and see what he is all the way up i actually pulled this out of the training reroll for the reduxes so um, and he was a pretty penny. He was like 140K yesterday. Yeah. So 93 speed, 90 catch, deep route running, 92 mid, 93 short, 94 releases at 90, 94 COD, 93 juke move, 95 ball carrier vision, 
So if you do power up the 93 all the way through, you're basically going to get this card right here. Um, Lin Swan, not bad at all. You can play the Lightning Solar to get his power up, or you can pay about 5K on the market to power him up. Next up is Calvin Ridley, a dude who had the claim of best wide receiver in the game for about a week um, until, until Randy Moss came out. Um, pretty much. Uh, 94 speed, 90 catch, 93 deep route running. This card is impressive. 90 spec, uh, 92 COD, 92 juke move as well. Very impressive. Very impressive. Good card here for Ridley. Um, power up here as well is about like 10 to 12K. It's not horrible. Um, you know, I'd never pay more than 50K for a power up if I don't need to. So Calvin Ridley here. Great option. Good receivers all the, all the way through so far, right? Tyree Kill, 93, 94 speed. I think he's the fastest out of the whole bunch here. Uh, 89 catch, but 93 deep route running. That's what's important there. That 89 mid route running, it is what it is. The spec catch, it is what it is. But, um, you know, send Tyreek on a streak. Streak it to Tyreek. Uh, and he's and he's gone right 93 cod 92 juke move he's also very good on the uh underneath and the flat routes his power up honestly is pretty cheap too as well which i'm very surprised by because i have like five of them um and they're just sitting there on like yeah like seven to eight k under 10k for the last couple weeks so if you haven't gotten this card already powered up all the way through uh, i think you're playing yourself the last wide receiver of the bunch here is arguably the best wide receiver of the bunch here, just based on his stats alone, his attributes there, would be Lance Allworth. Um, 93 speed, 94 catch, 94 deep route running, 91 spec catch. This card was impressive. Another card that was the best wide receiver in the game for like a week or so. Um, 90 COD, 91 juke, 89 carry, 92 ball carry vision. This card is very good. This player is really good. Lance Allworth is a low key legend. Um, well deserved of the legend card, by the way. He gets Cowboys and Chargers cams. You can get his power up in the um, in the solos as well. So you can go ahead and power up Lance Allworth if you wanted to. His power up on the market there is like 5K. It's, it's insane for arguably the best wide receiver out of the whole bunch. Now. The guys that they are getting locked up with to close it out, um, we're gonna finish off two more positions here. Um, right here, we're gonna go corner with Janoris Jenkins. Now, I know you're just looking, 91 speed, dude, what's going on? Um, I'm using him, I know I have Giants theme team cams and all that good stuff on him, but I have no problems with him. I'm, I'm actually playing very well when he's powered up. 91 speed, 93 man, 91 zone coverage, um, 93 excel as well. He makes plays for me out there. I know that press is a little low, similar to Dion, but he makes plays for me. So I'm very, very, very happy with Janoris Jenkins, but I understand if he's not your cup of tea, um, Darrell Revis arguably is the best corner out of this whole group here. 93 overall, 92 speed, 92 man, 88 zone, 92 press, 91 excel. His power up again is in packs just like the other 50 guys. It says 150 now, but just give it some time. It'll drop a little bit, but the power ups are in packs. So, um, this Revis card, probably the best corner out of the whole bunch. If you had to pick one, um, Revis is very, very good, especially if you need to switch his chems. I believe he gets chiefs chems, jets chems. Um, a whole lot of good stuff there for Revis. Um, Joe Hayden, not a bad choice as well here. 91 speed, 92 man, 87 zone, uh, 93 excel there for Joe Hayden. His power up is out there on the market as well for about 3K. So could be a good time to upgrade him all the way up through. Uh, Shaq Griffin, also a good option here at corner. Um, the speediest one, I think, of the bunch, or tied for speediest, speediest, excuse me, 93 speed, 88 man, 92 zone coverage, 89 press here. Um, zone cornerback is his archetype here, and his power up is sitting about two to 3K on the market. So, not a bad option as well here for Shaq Griffin. So, if I was you, I'd probably go out there and get him, especially if you're a Seahawks theme teamer. We're going to close on three quarterbacks here. Number one, we're going to hit Steve McNair. Now, Steve McNair is on here because he's a good quarterback. He's a field general. He's probably my favorite field general of all of them so far in this group. Uh, 92 throw power, 84 speed is key there. Uh, obviously, if you power him up, you're going to get the Redux version, basically, or the LTD version, basically, is, is what it is if it's powered up here. So 93 speed, 85, uh, 93 throw power, excuse me, 85 speed, 86 excel. Um, accuracy is all above 90 there, too. Um, this card is very fun. It's a good card to use for a field general archetype, especially if you're a Titans or a Ravens theme teamer. Next up here might be surprising to some, but I am doing it for a reason here. Deshaun Watson, now I know he's an improviser, archetype sucks, his throw power is 93, but sometimes it feels like a noodle out there. Um, 87 speed, it's gonna be kind of the same deal with him and the next guy I'm gonna pick. You gotta imagine Watson's gonna get a better card sometime soon, and it probably could be a good fun card to use. Um, so Watson, I'm predicting, and I have a feeling that he might get a team of the year card. 
um, just based on his stats this year. He's the number one passer in the league but in terms of yardage, but he's out of the playoffs. So I think it's kind of an easy way to put them in uh, in the game. So 87 speed, 93 throw power. Um, accuracies are above 90 except for deep. So it's not a bad card to use. And we're going to close out with probably the best quarterback out of all of them is Aaron Rodgers. Another improviser archetype, but man, this dude just makes plays for so many people. Um, his power ups obviously out there in the wild too as well. 94 throw power, 93 short accuracy. Mid is 91, deep is 93. This card is great. I mean, he's probably going to get MVP. So his NFL honors card to be there. He might be the first 99 in the game through his power up. So Aaron Rodgers, I'm not just saying it just to get it now, but could be something good in the future. So if you made it this far, let me know what you think about my selections. Let me know what you think about these thoughts. I know there's a lot to go over, but it's well worth it. There's a lot of good cards. We'll catch you next time. Peace.